Hello, in this video I'm discussing a new Portal Games release, the game Gutenberg. First things first, this is not a watch it play the video, I'm not going to teach you how to play the game, this is just a short video that gives you a like, feel of Gutenberg. The game was released initially by the company called Granna, it was released in, during the Essen Fair and last year, it was a major hit, it was sold out very very quickly during the a show and Porta Games is, has the honor to release the English version for America and for Europe. This new brand uh, printed with a couple of small improvements, but the basic the initial pattern was awesome already. Uh, this game is designed by two Polish designers, as I said, created by the company Granna. Portal Games is the official distributor of the English edition. Let me start with the components of the game. Granna, besides being a publisher, is one of the biggest manufacturers of games and that means that they can produce the game in the highest quality possible. And this game, if we talk this, it is kind of a Euro game style game, not a game without the miniatures, it looks absolutely stunning. All these special boards, all these player components, of course one of the most mind-blowing components that you absolutely have to have in hand and check is of course the fonts, it is actual wooden fonts, if you want you can actually use them with the paint and start doing your very own book. They went over the top with this component. And all the pieces in the game can be sorted with these beautiful cardboard boxes, so every piece of the component when you finish the game will be kept in the cardboard boxes. We have the balls with the cogs moving, we have a beautiful layout board and we have this amazing looking very unique cards, the very unique dimension that look absolutely stunning on the table. Also, we have a player skins, we have a ton of content. As I said, in terms of the production value, kudos to Granna, one of the best uh, Euro game ever produced in terms of the quality. Uh, Gutenberg is a very smooth, uh, beautiful design Euro game. It feels a German style, very elegant, very smooth. You play one round and everything is clear, everything clicks and it's super easy to understand. The theme of the game is that we are producing books. Uh, we are at the very early stage of the manufacturing of books and we are one of these in, in initial creators of the books. And what we are going to do in the game, we are going to get the orders uh, for the books, we are going to buy inks to print the books, we are going to develop specialists to improve our skills, we are going to improve our manufacturer you know, to have a, a better machines and better, better staff, and we are also going to get the patrons that will support our initiative. So all the different actions and we, during the game, we uh, have to choose which action we want to do. And with this system, is an absolutely brilliant uh, solution. Uh, I need to show you this uh, board, this action board. Each of the players will have a couple of action points and behind the screen, not showing uh, their plan to the other players, they will divide these uh, action points on these uh, five actions. And they may say, I don't need to buy inks this round, I definitely need uh, to get some new orders, I need to develop my team, I want my cogs, but it's not very important for me, and yet yeah, the most important for me is the order. This is maybe my decision. And each player does it behind the screen, deciding what's the most important for them. And then at the same time, we reveal our screens, we reveal our decision, and then the turn order of each of these actions is uh, based on how many action points we put on this action. So as you can see, for me, for Ignat, the most important was to get the order. I put four action points to get the order first. And most likely I would win this initiative and I would be the first player who can choose from the order cards. Then I said inks, I have my inks, I don't need the inks, I would pass on this phase of the game, I would not choose inks. And then I put uh, three action points, quite a good number as well, to develop skills of my team. So I would be in one of the first players to choose one of these skills. Then maybe I would be lucky and I would get one of these of these cocks and I decided to not have any patterns in this round. But this is super brilliant because we can look at other players, what they may need, what is most important for them, and then we need to outsmart them, spend our action points in the most efficient way, remembering what's crucial for us, and then we overbeat most likely, and for other things we try to use our action points in the best way possible. Besides this action, this action board, we have also our manufacturer action uh, board, and on this we have all the different tracks for the skills of our team, for the uh, skills of our machines and during the game we will 
get more of these cogs and we, we will make our machine working better and better and over the time it will work like this and we will have all of these cogs and then we will flip them and use them and use the actions and get access to uh, different abilities. So there's things happening in terms of the building our engine, building our machine working better and better and better. What's also very interesting in this game, I found it fascinating when I was playing this game with my friends is that each order for the book is collected from two different counts. This is the basic order and this is what fonts we have, what letters are important for us. And then this is how we can make this book more pretty. And depending if we just finish the order with the basic things or if we go full all in with that, we get basic number of victory points or more victory points. And this of course leaves you with all the different strategies if you want to rush and do very quick, short orders just fonts, 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 a new order, a new order, or you want to have this beautiful book that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to create and get more victory points. Of course, the balance, as in many, many Euro games, is your king. So you want to have a couple of short orders and a couple of these amazing, beautiful books produced as well to get this meaty big victory points. The game is uh, pretty complex, uh, but as I said, it works super smooth after reading the once the rulebook. I played it with my friends and we had a great, great time. Uh, it scales beautifully because the uh, different the cards are in on the game if there's more players. Mm, and basically now, because I'm the publisher, but let me show you what reviewers say. So a few minutes for the reviewers. For me, I think the bidding for the actions mm -hmm. is a clever idea. Yeah. Um, I think also like the resources with the I love the components in this game. It's beautiful, like the letter I, pieces. Yeah. The most the cool thing are like, the cogs are really cool. Yeah. Like you you place them and then you place them on the bottom and you turn them, they turn around. Uh, it, it it's it feels like you have to plan. Okay, then I want this to be that and that the same as this. I place it this way. I like that. I also like the fact that the orders you have are two cards. One card is the letters, yeah. and one card is the decorations. And if you only do, as I said, you can do only the letters, but you won't get a single point because the, the letter cards are only coins. Coins, yeah. As that you can use to buy new letters. Mm. Uh, so you have to do the decorations, and if you do both the ink and the special decorations, you will get bonus points or bonus abilities. Yeah. This is, I think, by far their biggest production to date. Big board, lots of moving pieces, literally moving pieces, using the same spinning gears. I've been waiting for, gosh, it feels like a decade. Ever since Zulk in the Mind Calendar did that really cool thing with gears spinning on the central board. Another thing I am a huge fan of is simultaneous action selection. And everybody working, slaving away in secret, trying to figure out the best possible way to distribute their initiative cubes, uh, and then revealing and saying, oh my god, I can't believe I wasted all that, or oh, oh, I just barely got it, oh, I just missed it. Um, but then, okay, I just missed it. I was so desperate to get that card. And so I bid high, and it turns out you bid even higher. And then we get there, oh please, oh please don't take it. <gasps> you took the other one, I got it anyway. Um, you know, there are dizzying highs and lows throughout this game, and I really enjoy it quite a bit. Like I said, Gutenberg, is just very enjoyable. So at its heart, it's an auction game, although it doesn't necessarily feel like an auction game. And one of the things about that is when you get the black cubes, you can put one in every spot. You get an action. The other people can't take, you know, everything. Uh, there's fewer things based on the number of players. I showed you a four-player setup, but there would be fewer for three or two. But you might get the better thing, but at least I'll get something. And I like that part of the game. But that, that system works so well. Whoever's first has six cubes and seven, eight, nine. I got nine cubes. I got three more than you, but you win ties. And every time I play it, I find that, again, it's an easy game to teach. It's fun. Everyone's involved the entire game. There's very little downtime. Check it out. Gutenberg. I'm Tom Vassell. You've been watching the Dice Tower. Dice Tower Judgment. Excellent. So here we are in the conclusion of the whole video. If you like pretty games, this one, this one is pretty. The components absolutely mind-blowing. It will be a gem in your collection. If you like German games, if you like these elegant, beautifully designed games, this, even though this is a Polish game, it feels like a, a design by one of these famous Rainer Knizia or Michael Kisling or Wolfgang Kramer. It feels this uh, beautiful, beautiful design, design skills. In terms of the theme, this game screams with the theme. Uh, you building these books, creating these books, buying the inks, uh, 
uh, making your your employees getting better and better in their skill, buying these cogs to make your manufacturer working better and better. That team in this game is super strong and you absolutely understand what you are doing and why you are doing that. And you have these short orders and bigger orders. The whole game allows the six rounds of the six rounds you see uh, who fulfilled most orders and who got most, most victory point of all of this. I absolutely love this game. This is why Portal Games sign the rights for the English English uh, rights for the game. I strongly recommend check it out. Check out the reviews. Check out what people on board game say. And I cannot I cannot wait for you, Portal Games fans, to discover this beautiful Euro game from Europe. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, I appreciate the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of these videos with us presenting our new releases. And I wish you a great, great time with Gutenberg and other Portal Games releases. Thank you.